internet. My name is Tipsy Villain because I like to consume adult beverages and then play video games. And welcome to part 5 of Gone Home. In our previous episode, we explored more upstairs, uh, learned more that Sam definitely has a crush on Lonnie, and the feeling is mutual. <laughs> also, Mom's marriage problems are very serious. She and her uh, husband are having no sex whatsoever, and there's a new man in the picture as well. Uh, one of Mom's younger colleagues named Ranger Rick, who is actually, believe it or not, a cartoon raccoon. So yeah, that's a little weird. Anyway, I went downstairs, looked around some more, thinking I'd missed a key somewhere, and it didn't really seem like I had, but I did, uh, find, no, stop that, another journal, apparently there was this pink book that Dad gave Sam, uh, because she was such an abject failure at life, and had no friends, and he wanted her to make friends, and if you click on this, you, he you heard this. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. She's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Okay, so yeah, apparently Sam had a plan to meet Lonnie. Anyway, there's this uh, hallway upstairs that I apparently missed, so I'm going to explore it now. Now. What's this? Katie. Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Sam. Hmm. I come home early for some reason? So this is my room. Rather smallish, huh? Doesn't seem like there's much here. Read note. Hey, Sam, you were asking what my JROTC ribbons meant. Here is a handy guide. Orienteering. This means the army thinks I can find my way around. Rifle team. The army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Adventure training. I am a uh, born adventurous and no borders can hold, the arm, hold me. The army recognizes this. So if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do Lonnie D. Okay, so, uh, the person in the uniform in the picture downstairs wasn't me, that was actually Lonnie. Ought they allow her to, to dye her hair bright red, then? Yes, that is me. I am Katie. Composition book. Sighting journal. August 31st, 1994, 1.19am. Tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. Oh, Sam, you goofy goober. September 3rd, 1994. 12.44 a.m. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. September 9th, 1994. 4.11 p.m. Poured milk from the carton in the fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was bought yesterday. Ooh. Moo. Ooh. Ghost milk. Ooh. Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty adorable. Uh, okay, what else? October 9th, 1994, 11.24 p.m. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow fort. Ah, I saw that pillow fort. It was quite lovely. August 22nd, 1994. The door creaks, you guys. There was nothing. Uh, 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. 
October 28, 1994, 10 p.m. to uh, 4 a.m. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remain unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in attic, probably due to leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite her best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. Ah, oh, that's adorable. So that's why they were watching X-Files. Anything in here? Anything in here? Nope. Just boxes. Okay. Well. Oh, I bet the key to Sam's room locker thing is in the dark room. Alright, let's see what's in here, you guys. A vase! My god! What is this madness? Alright, what's this? Another cassette. Is there a cassette player in here? Mm -hmm. Nope. That's some flowers. Oh! Someone was painting in here. Father? Mother? It eh, doesn't matter. Okay. Set goes in there. Meanwhile, there's this note. Performance evaluation. Name, Richard Powdermock. Uh, evaluation, uh, Supervisor Jane Greenbrier. Janice Greenbrier. Uh, evalu evaluation period, uh, September 2nd to November 1st. Knowledge, and so all of them are exemplary. Supervisor comments. Ranger Powdermack has been indispensable during the course of the prescribed burn preparation and execution. I believe his expertise and dedication have, has been the deciding factor in the success of a very complex and challenging conservation effort. In the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's contributions to daily operations have become essential to the outfit's continuing success. To this end, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to the facility. Signed, Janice Screenbrier, Senior Conservationist. Yep. Mom definitely has a crush on Ranger Rick. Mm. How unfortunate. Well, if your marriage isn't working, it isn't working. I guess that's all there is to it. What's this? Halloween show, The Misfits. They're awesome. Don't forget your costume. Sticky and Lounge, 9 p.m. See you there. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. Aww. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. That you have a crush? Yes, we can all tell, Sam. We can all tell. Uh, nothing can stop me. Another Riot Girl band, I guess. Okay. Well, I liked all the others. This is pretty dope! I like this, guys! See what's in here. Uh, salmon book. Opal LaRousse. Wildfire. He saved her from the raging things. Um, raging. Raging flames. No, raging penises. Raging erections. I got it, guys. And then things really heated up. Opal LaRousse is one of the most distinctive writers in our genre. Leslie Allen. A tour de force, Wildfire is a uniquely beautiful display of LaRosa's talent. Yes, mother. 
hide your porn as well. Why do the parents hide their porn? Oh, that's cool. There's a little sewing table. I've never seen that. Okay. Oh, so hardcore. What else do we got in here? Well, there's the case. Heavens to Betsy. I think these are all real Riot Girl bands. Open folder. Lonnie! Holy... So loud. Holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed some corner and I found a secret passage. And it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Oh my god. I have to get to see this. We're skipping six. Okay. Mom and Dad's room, bathroom, closet. Press Y to view. Okay! Okay. Well, now we know how to get to some of the locked areas downstairs. Healthy choices, skills for a healthful life. Okay, that's probably not important. Anything else in here that is? Anything in here or more? We got some funky costumes. Must be my sister's Halloween costume. Captain Allegra and First Mate. Your costume, my costume. Oh, she is cosplaying as her own characters. And she said her lover. Oh, wait, no. Lonnie's the First Mate. How nice of her to volunteer. She must like her sister's writing. I hope this romance has a lovely future. But in any case, we'll first go upstairs into the dark room. And then. Come on. Come on. Open it. Uh. No! Damn it! Alright. Can't, um, can't, can't I? Do I have to bring a chair? Do I have to bring a chair? Do I have to hit the light? Oh, uh, what is this? Do you have to stand right here? And then try. What is this, guys? Okay. Now what does it matter? I'll go back up there later. I want to see the secret passage anyway. Okay. Mom's bedroom. Uh, closet, 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 where am I now? Where am I now? Closet, closet, closet. Must go into the closet. Did I not open this? I thought I opened this. Yes. What's this? Watercolor techniques for florals and still lifes. I haven't been in this room. Are you a watercolorist looking to improve your skills? So is Bradford Gregory once. Since he began painting with watercolors at the age of 40, he has gone on to win countless awards in national and international exhibitions. Now, with watercolor techniques for floral and still lifes, he shares his years of watercolor experience with you. This book doesn't contain lists of rules, but the principles and concepts that will lead you down the path to filling your personal potential as an artist. His mom likes watercolors. I remember. I remember, I remember, I remember. She's the one who's painting. What's this? Ugh, a ghost game. Ghost Mansion! Few sh of the shades you might encounter. The brother, the cowboy, the widow. Okay, where's the secret passage? Where is it? Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Now this is more like it. This is more like it. Uh, what's this? What are these? 
pictures of women and pictures of men. Is it from fashion magazines? Ghost hunters Sam and Lonnie investigate house, uh, secret house investigation log, hidden compartments found, three. We got library, we got over there, and we got over there. Okay. Okay. This is starting to heat up. All right. Uh huh. Is there a way through? Is there a way through? Cause the library was unlocked. Okay. Tad anticlimactic, but no matter. Okay. So what other ones do I need to get to? Um, hmm. There is Yes. Wait, is there something in the corner here? I'm uncertain. What's this, this little X? Huh. Okay. There's something. I hear a noise, guys. Okay. Something. Uh. Huh. Between Dad's thing and the foyer, there is another secret panel. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Loose panel. No. Not there. Thank you. Second combo strap. Property of Sam private. Half of Sam's locker combo. Oh! Oh, that's what it was. Private, do not read. I'm going to read it anyway. Screw you. Heaven at the Edge of the World, Green Glacier Part 2. Allegra and her scouting party peer down... Hmm. Do I need to read the first part of it first? Alright, you know what? We'll come back to that. Because I think there is another secret panel that I was supposed to open up somewhere. That'll probably have the green thing... Part one. Yes, I see something indicating a loose panel somewhere. I'm looking for a loose panel. That is what I am looking for. Is this it? Is yes. Yes. Haha. -ha. Examine show flyer the misfits. Plus special guest maidenhead. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over, I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook-up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. <laughs> Oh, young love. Okay. Welp. 
I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Tipsy Villain, and this was Gone Home. If you liked what you saw, click like or subscribe. And be sure to tell all your friends about me on your social media account. If you didn't like what you saw, tell no one. Bye!